first step, sorry I'm hoarse, the first step of playing lettuce is the tray. So I use these trays from Bootstrap Farmer. They're really, flex they're really flexible. They're really uh, heavy duty. They, they will bend a little bit, but you can see you can't really hurt them, bend them. And we use one that has the holes in it. That's gonna be the planting tray. And then we have one underneath that is solid. And the first step is to fill it with soil. I use a professional potting soil mix. It's Coco Loco. Um, it works really well for everything and I've had good luck with it, so that's what I use. So let me fill this up. You can see I have another tray so that I don't make it quite such a mess. But it's just a matter of taking a smaller container, filling the tray up. And then leveling the soil off. And you want to compact it a little bit. So I just use my hand and press it down. Sort of push it to the edges. That's generally where you get the most settling is around the edges. It doesn't quite fill in. And it's just a matter of using your hand and raking off extra soil. Getting the surface perfectly level isn't as necessary with lettuce as it is microgreens because the seeds are flat. So they have no tendency to go to the holes or to roll off. So you just take the, my hand and compact it down. Now like with most things when I have this tray, I don't usually water in the soil tray because then it just ends up getting to be a muddy mess. So what I'm gonna do is take this tray of soil out, dump the extra soil back into my container, and grab the watering tray. Now that the tray's into the watering tray, the soil tray is into the watering tray. We're just going to take a handy dandy Flowmaster sprayer. I really like this sprayer, this pump sprayer. Works well for one or two flats. And wet the surface. Generally I wet it fairly well. So I put a little bit of solid stream in. No, not that solid. Just like that. I just keep going over it several times until I get a good, moist upper surface. If you see any high spots, again, here's the point where you can pack it down. The advantage of Coco Loco is it does not stick to your hands like wet peat moss does. Another reason I like using coconut core mixes compared to peat mixes. I try not to wet the soil all the way through. Just get the upper surface wet because we're gonna put this underneath a dome and the dome will help retain the moisture. All right, all right, now the surface is wet, we'll get our seed. The thing about lettuce seeds, and I'm using ruby red lettuce, is that it doesn't take much, only 0.7 grams, and it's really hard to spread that a little bit. So right here, 0.7 grams, red leaf lettuce. I just put this into my shaking or into my shaker jar. Just easier to spread. And then just shake the seed on. The problem with using only 0.7 grams of seed, believe it or not, this is enough, is that it's hard to actually spread it even because there's so little seed. I've tried more like 0.8 or 0.9 and if you let the lettuce grow to the larger baby leaf, what happens is it's so dense that you get a lot of uh, browning on the inside. So even though you could plant it a little bit denser, the 0.65 or the 0.7 grams actually is a good density because you'll have better leaves in the long run. So sometimes some seeds fall inside, I just put them back in. And now it's just a matter of 
We're gonna put it on a little bit more mist. Wetting the seed. What this does is not only does it wet the seed, but it actually helps settle the seed into the soil. Once it's wet, then I give it a little bit harder jet. Just don't want it flying off at first. A little bit more pressure in the container. And there's our lettuce tray, all set to go under the light, believe it or not. Yep, lettuce, you germinate under light. We don't put it into a blackout period. So I'll show you where I'm gonna set this in a second. This is my setup for growing lettuces. Like I said, it likes light when it germinates. So I've just made a table in front of a window and above it, let me swing up. I have a Mars Hydro Grow Light. Works really well, especially for red leaf. Now don't be alarmed when your leaf lettuce starts to grow, your red leaf starts to grow and it's not red. It takes a while for it actually to turn red. It's gonna be green to begin with. So we have our tray of less sowed lettuce here and all we do now is just put on a clear dome. Lettuce really likes light to germinate. It's just a matter of putting the dome on top of it. That will hold in the moisture, let the light through, and then turn on the grow light. I leave the grow light on for about 15 hours a day. And when this lettuce starts to germinate in three or four days, we'll be back. We'll show you the next steps. All right, it's been three days since we've planted our red leaf lettuce. You can see they're underneath the Mars Hydro SB150 light. You can also see it's a dark, dreary, rainy day outside. Let's take a look at these lettuce plants. You can see there's quite a bit of moisture on the dome. Let me give you a little bit closer look. All right, let's remove the dome and see what we have. There's always gonna be a lot of bit of quite a bit of water flowing out of this thing. Let's remove it. There, you can see we actually have some tomatoes germinating on there. Let me get you a closer look. I hope that's in focus, but you can see that there's quite a bit of lettuce leaf, lettuce that have germinated. There's some seed that hasn't yet, but it probably will. I know it looks a little sparse at the moment, but trust me. Trust me, those, those lettuces will fill in just fine. It's still a little too early to take the dome off. I like to leave it on until the lettuce is up about a good three quarters to an inch tall. So I'm just gonna put the dome back on. But you can see that this red leaf, now remember, it will turn red, don't worry. It starts as green. It will get the red pigment. Um, still needs a little bit more time underneath the dome. So we're just gonna replace the dome. Let it sit underneath our Mars Hydro SP150 light. And what a little daylight we get here in Syracuse this time of year. And let these lettuce plants grow. Be back in a couple more days. This is a tray of red leaf lettuce that I'll be growing inside. All about ready to be getting the dome taken off. There you can see the seeds are just sprinkled onto the soil surface and they're growing up very well. These are ready to go under the light with the dome off. We'll just water them once more from the top and they'll be set. I realize this isn't lettuce. This is actually a split tray of broccoli and red brush and kale microgreens but I want to explain bottom watering. And this is a, this is a good way to do it using uh, this setup. So as I said, when the lettuce, when you take the dome off and the lettuce is about three quarters of an inch to an inch tall, you want to take that clear dome off. You can mist them one more time very gently from the top. After that, we're going to bottom water. That's why we have two trays, All right? So we have the, the planting tray where the plants are and the watering tray. Now, the easiest way to do this is to really just take the tray, tilt the planting tray up and pour the water in the bottom tray. And there are several things that you need to realize when you do this. One is that these trays do have little grooves in them. So, so don't the, so don't the, so don't the trays on the bottom. So the water will fill in and go underneath the whole tray. But you do have to be careful. 
And what do I mean by that? Well, if you pour too much water in when you have it tilted up and set it down really quick, the water just splashes right out the front. That's obviously not ideal. So you have to be really careful and lower it in gently. Sometimes it's better if you take the whole planting tray out, set it down if you have the room, take your water and pour it into the bottom and then gently lower the tray, the planting tray into the watering tray and let the water soak up in through the coca core in the bottom. There's another reason I like coca core other than peat moss. When peat moss gets dry, it's really hard to have it absorb water. coca core isn't like that, it'll always absorb water. When do you need the water? Well, this is something you're gonna to have to play with. Generally, you can feel a tray, and if it feels light, and I know this is ar arbitrary, but if it feels light, then it needs water. You can tell when a tray is heavy and, and doesn't really need water. It's just something that you're gonna to have to get used to. So how do you water? So normally, I do take a tray like this, and I just take a measuring cup, and I use between one and two cups of water per tray. So you just carefully tilt the tray up, take your measuring cup, and you pour in about a cup of water, and then you gently lower the tray down and make sure it doesn't splash over the top. So as you can see, if I take this tray out, this has already absorbed a lot of water, but the water does flow under both trays. That's the advantage of these grooves here. So even though you're putting water on one end of the tray, it will get all the way to the back. Now what if your table's unlevel? This is, this is a very common problem, and it's really hard to keep them level sometimes. You get them level and they move. Well, it's just a matter of watering it on one side, taking your tray, turning it around so that the water will run down to the other, to the other side. So what happens when you add too much water? So let's say we pour in both cups of water and we take our tray and we put it in too quick. Ah, I didn't do it. But what happens is the water runs over the front. Again, that's not ideal. But generally you want to put between one and two cups of water into the tray. If it's on level, just take the tray, turn it around after a minute or two and let the water go to the other side. That's how we bottom water our lettuce trays, and our microgreen trays. So here's our tray lettuce. This is the same lettuce. It was planted on 314. It is now April 2nd. You can see that the lettuce is doing really well. It's grown really well. This will color up more as it gets older. You could...